Thomas the tank engine had been working in the coal yards all day. The little blue engine was covered in coal dust. We can't clean you up tonight, Thomas, said his driver. There's a problem with the hose pipe. Bother, said Thomas. A bath would make me feel much better. The others are sure to say I look silly. But the engines were too busy arguing to notice Thomas. James was talking loudest of all. I deserve a new coat of paint. Sir Topham Hatt says I'm the pride of the line and rubbish, huffed Henry. We're all the pride of the line. It's been like this all day, confided Percy to Thomas. James is getting a new coat of paint and won't stop boasting about it. Why, James? I'm the one who needs a new coat. Look at me. I'd rather not, retorted James. You're not a pleasant sight and wouldn't understand the needs of a really important engine. Thomas was fuming. Next morning, as James was being repainted, Henry had an accident. If you can't push cars properly, Henry, why not talk to a tree instead? You know how much you like the forest. As a matter of fact, bossy boiler, Sir Topham Hatt is inspecting the island for trees that are too close to the line. He's worried they might cause trouble. Ha! laughed James. If I came upon a tree, I'd just push it aside. Really, Henry replied. Soon James was showing off his paintwork. Make way for an important engine. You wouldn't feel important if one of those trees crashed on you. You'd feel hurt, reproached Percy. Rubbish! It wouldn't dare! You should be careful, James. Trees can be just as powerful as engines, advised Terence. Oh, please! Now, excuse me, Sir Topham Hatt needs me to pull the express. And he huffed away. But James was wrong. You must go to the yards and collect an important goods train, James. It's heavy, so be careful, said Sir Topham Hatt. But, sir, I've just been repainted. Can't Thomas or Percy do it? They're dirty and like working with freight cars. Really useful engines don't argue. So James didn't. By the time he arrived at the yards, the weather had changed for the worse. Your color's nice, James. Pity about your face, though, said a freight car. James ignored them and set off. Soon they came to a hill, and his driver knew they were in for a difficult time. An old tree close to the track was being blown by the strong winds, and the rain had weakened the slope. All of a sudden, the tree moved. Oh, help! cried James. Go away! But of course, the tree couldn't. James tried to reverse away from the tree, but his train was too heavy. Then he heard a whistle. It's Thomas, called his driver. James felt embarrassed and worried that Thomas would laugh at him, but Thomas didn't. He knew this was no time for teasing. Beep, beep. I'm ready, whistled Thomas. So am I, replied James. As ready as I'll ever be. They were just in time. Later, James spoke to Thomas. Percy and Terence were so right to warn me. Thank you for rescuing me, Thomas. Oh, that's all right. We engines must pull together, whatever the weather. Just then, Edward bustled in. Sir Topham Hatt thinks you're both brave engines. Thomas, you're going to have a new coat of paint. And James, Sir Topham Hatt says that tomorrow you'll pull the special express. Everyone was very happy.